Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by today to check my video out. I really do appreciate it. First of all, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry that this video is ever so slightly late this month. I really tried to get my videos up as close to the first of the month as possible. However, I was away for the last two weeks in August, which was just absolutely so lovely to be away. And then I had some other family come home last week, um, family that I haven't seen in close to two years because of COVID. So I spent the weekend with them and it was really, really nice to catch up and just spend time as a family. But I'm here now, so let's get on into the stuffing my envelopes for September. So the first thing that I want to do is just count how much euro I have here so we know how much money we are stuffing this month. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 590, 600, 610, 620. So I have 620 euro in total. I did originally have a bit more, but I did have to spend some of my money because I'm a bit late stuffing my envelopes. There are certain categories that I have spent a bit already, which I will talk about as we go through. So the first envelope up is holidays. Holidays is completely empty. As mentioned, I am just back from my holidays and I did spend everything that I had. I budgeted absolutely perfectly. I think I came home with something like 15 euro or 20 euro left. So I had my budget exactly right. So it's now time to start stuffing this envelope again. So I'm going to be putting 50 euro in this month. So that is 50 euro into my holidays envelope. So next up is petrol and petrol is one of the categories where I did already spend some of the money. So I was due to put 70 euro into petrol, but I spent 20 online. So literally all I did there was I spent the 20 euro using my card and I then just adjusted the amount of money that I had to take out. So I just subtracted 20 euro from the total amount that I have here today. So because I spent 20, I'll be putting 50 euro in for the rest of the month. So that's 50 in petrol. Then I have gifts. Gifts currently has 40 euro in here and I'm going to be adding 60 in this month. So what I'm going to do is take out this 40 and I'm going to put in 100. So that is 100 euro in total in gifts. Then I have Christmas and Christmas has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 euro in here. Is that right? 100, 200, 300, 400. Yeah, 500 euro. And I'm going to be adding in 50. So that makes 550 euro in total. Then I have miscellaneous expenses. Miscellaneous expenses is fully funded. There is 200 euro in here, so I won't be adding anything. If you're new here, miscellaneous expenses is just some extra cash that I like to keep on hand. For example, if a bill goes slightly over or if I need something for the apartment and I don't have any money in my home envelope, I can take it from here and I like to keep about 200 euro in here. Then I have my hair envelope and hair currently has 80 euro in here and I'm going to be adding 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So that makes 160 euro in total in this envelope. Okay, then I have medical and medical is another envelope where I have already spent what I was going to put in here. So medical has 10 euro in here and I should have been adding 100 euro. However, I already spent that 100 euro. And again, I just paid that online using my card and I subtracted it from the total amount that I had to take out for this video. So the reason that I already spent 100 euro is I mentioned in my last video, I think that I fractured this finger when I was playing tennis and I had my final checkup. I had to get a checkup with my consultant and an x-ray just to make sure that it had all healed and it has, which is great. I can go back to all of my activities, which is fantastic, but I did just pay that amount already when I was in the clinic. So I won't be adding anything physical into this envelope this month. 
Next up, I then have my tennis envelope and tennis is going to be getting 30 euro. So I'm going to take out this 20 and I'm going to pop back in a 50. So there's now 150 euro in this envelope. So next up is my poor car maintenance envelope, which is falling apart. Car maintenance has 100, 200, 250. This is another envelope where I've already spent most of what I was going to put in. I was going to put in 50 euro, but I ended up having to pay 40 euro. I needed to replace the, not sure what it's called, the, the radio antenna on my car. My old one had snapped off, so I did have to buy a replacement and that cost me 40 euro. So I was putting in 50, I've spent 40 already, so I'm just going to be adding 10 euro in now. Next up is groceries and groceries is going to be getting 170 euro. So 120, 40, 60, 70. So that's 170 euro going in my groceries envelope. Then I have eating out and eating out is going to get 40. So 20, 40. Then I have clothing. Clothing has 20 left over and I'm going to be adding 20 euro this month. So that's 40 euro now in total. TV license is fully funded, so I won't be adding anything in this month. Then I have toiletries. Toiletries has 10 euro left. I'm then going to be adding an extra 10. So that's 20 euro in total now. Then I have credit union. Credit union has 50, but I am going to be adding in 10. So that is 60 euro in total in my credit union envelope. Then I have concerts and shows and there is 100 euro in here and I'm going to be adding in 20. In Ireland, we are starting to come to, I don't know if I want to say the end of the pandemic, but things are starting to open up a lot more than they were. And there's a lot of bands that are announcing new concerts that are coming up in the next couple of months, which is just so exciting. I love going to concerts. That's why I have an envelope for it. I really, really enjoy it. So I am hoping that there will be something that I want to book soon, which is why I'm adding some money this month. So there's now 120 euro in there. Next up is makeup. Makeup is completely empty because I did bring the money from my makeup envelope on holidays with me and I ended up spending it, which I'm going to be talking about in an upcoming video. So I'm going to be adding in 20 euro this month. This is another envelope that is definitely starting to fall apart. For those of you that have been asking me, I am going to be filming um, how to make your own cash envelopes, hopefully this weekend. So it should be up in the next couple of weeks, depending on when I can edit it. Lots of my envelopes are definitely um, seen better days. So I need to make some new envelopes for myself and I will be filming that and doing a tutorial as well. Anyway, so there's 20 euro in makeup. And then the last ones I'm not putting anything into. So apartment stuff, I'm not putting anything in. There is 50 euro in here and I don't think I need anything this month that I can think of. And then I have my spa envelope and this is also fully funded. So those are all of my envelopes stuffed for the month of September. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching as always and I will chat to you on my next one. Bye.